Goranges, we're on view for our sale on the 26th of April, last sale of the month. Girl, they're all flying by, clocks are banging away in the background. Um, another good general mix sale, uh, just talk you through some of, the, some of the things within it. You may have seen we've had a number of electric clocks going through the rooms in recent years. Uh, recent years, recent sales and recent years. Uh, these all came from one big probate collection. They've been going really well. Here's one I think to keep an eye on because of this incredibly ornate dome, this cut glass dome. Got to be pretty unusual that. And then the, the movement, yes, it needs work. But um, the aficionados have been looking at them and loving them and bidding accordingly. Next to it, well, shame it's, well, it is full actually. That is full. That is a full bottle, I presume. That is the... Uh, Royal McCoy inside, lot 1372. So there's a proper bottle of Moe. Um, not dated, but uh, there we go. Particularly a large bottle there. Shake it up, you never know. Next to that, lovely cushion. Look at this, super. Look, it's uh, that sort of 18th century tapestry. Some later work around the edges. Nice take of thing with a, with a putty cat and the mouse on it. There we go, lot 1370 in it, about 100 pounds. There's a few books, there's model steamships, there's broken Chinese vases. We didn't do it, we'd never do that, would we? Uh, fishing rods and reels, Worcester porcelain, George Bissell oil paintings, an array of marvellously interesting things over the back shelves, from Macintyre porcelain to Chinese enamel and English porcelain, nice big silver bowl over there, all sorts of goodies, bit of silver behind the counter. Not quite tidied up yet, but it will be smarter because we're on view here. Here's a nice little box here, looks like a caddy. Yeah, it's a tea caddy. This is Tunbridge Ware, and it has a view. Now, I was going to say Erich Castle, but no, apparently it is a rare marketry scene of Warwick Castle, according to the uh, retailer's label inside, when it was sold for £600 many years ago. Of course, now not quite so sought after. Still a lovely thing, though. Uh, with, uh, I should think, an estimate there is going to be about 150 to 200. Uh, further down, these are nice. They're only bashed to pieces, unfortunately, but um, look like Derby. They are, there's the Derby mark. Warwick Castle again. Warwick Castle is today's theme. Clearly beautifully painted, but damaged. And there's its pair, which is uh, Old Castle Oxenford. There we go, the pair. Um, you know, once upon a time, those were a lot of money. Not so much these days, but still nice things. May well be bought for restoration, sold on. Might just be bought by a collector who likes them. Um, I quite like that. This after Guerre's with a pastel there, rather smart little frame. Lot 1572. We've got some wine. We've got more uh, big bottles, but these ones are, I'm sorry to say, empty. Um, we've got our straws out. I don't know. That's lot 1290. If you want the sort of graduated sets for demonstration purposes, I suppose, of um, your Jeroboams and your, and your Methuselahs and all that sort of thing. So there we go, lot 1290. Uh, there's um, not a bad pair of Chinese vases there, and uh, otherwise all sorts of other curiosities, sort of what looks like headhunter skulls with feathers coming out the top and all sorts. So have a good look at the website. We're going to go and look at the furniture because I'm told it's particularly good this week. So we're back in the warehouse, miraculously, and all sorts of things. Look at the, the, the pair of these, in the sort of manner of Thomas Hope. Fairly large and impressive uh, armchairs, pair of them, lot 1132, if that's your thing. Otherwise, what else do we have? Well, little collector's chests that could be stripped and remodeled and what have you. A very interesting uh, sort of printing pressy thing here, um, that uh, is lot 1029. Uh, now, I'm supposed to be, I've been told there's some better furniture this week, particularly good furniture, so I'm hunting it out. Uh, nice little low boy here, uh, with the pad foot, that's sort of George first, George second, 1128. Rather smart, little, elegant, sort of Sheraton type uh, work table or occasional table, 1126. Moving on down, what can we see? Well, French commodes, Edwardian bedside tables, modern oak extending dining tables. Uh, it's another funky, nice Bible box here, big old Bible box there. Uh, that's lot 1080 in oak with a key. Looks like the original lock as well. Over the back, nice uh, walnut uh, secretaire, abattante or uh, escritoire, French names, but an English piece of furniture. Over here, this sort of bureau in walnut, got a showy interior there, unusual form, sort of hybrid George I. Here's the secretaire, abattante. Yes, they always get a split there. 
let's open it up and see look at that that's really lovely inside and actually these if you can if you can have it like that always open looks so much more interesting and appealing than uh, than when they're closed so uh, that is got 10.99 uh, we've got uh, what have we got over here these sort of pestles by the looks of things look sort of hollowed out tree trunks got 10.66 got some ornate gilt mirrors nice over mantle here that is 10.36 more electric clocks, talked about them earlier, there's more of them scattered throughout the furniture sale, the sort of larger examples. Um, so the man who bought most of them last week, he's coming back to have another go, so give him a run for his money. They're, uh, they were very popular, as I said earlier. Um, desk for restoration by the looks of things. Nice kidney-shaped desk here. This is uh, English lock, quarter veneered, so they've used four pieces of veneer all radiating in towards the middle. Lovely, delicate little um, drawers that I can't open at the moment on this side. Yes, with key but not open. There we go, this one opens up. There we go. It's not that old, it's certainly 20th century, but uh, very nicely made, nicely carved, quality piece. Big pair of settees here, lot 1047. Oh, and I like this chest. This is nice, this really catches my eye. Uh, lot 1089. This is. Um, Around about 1700, I suppose. Look at that beautiful walnut, lovely uh, moulding around the doors. Uh, pine lined inside, a bit unusually. Original lock by the look of things. Have we got them further down? Yep, original locks, no key, of course. We know we don't expect a key, but you know, lovely colour. I think that'll do quite well. That's got 1089. And then there's a big old bed here. We haven't put the mattress in because it takes too much space up. Look at that whopping great brass bed. 1074, rather smart. Almost deco style, they're not as old as that. Tub chairs here, lot 1096. So, as ever, it's all here. And the last thing that catches my eye, they're very smart uh, French, sort of Louis style. It's not of the period again, it's later, but sort of nice little bizutery cabinet there. So, all sorts of things for you to look at. You can come and view again, as I keep reminding you, and people have been and are continuing to do so. So, uh, we look forward to seeing you. And have a look at social media, I have been prompted to say. Uh, look at us on Instagram. There's always something interesting going on there. Facebook, if that's your thing. There's, there's stuff on Facebook. And uh, if you'd like to get our newsletter, which goes out probably every day or so. No, it doesn't. No, it goes out once a week, I think, our newsletter. Uh, just phone up or email in and we'll add you to the subscription list and you'll get notified about anything that is happening that's worth knowing about. So, marvellous. Uh, have a good, um, this sale is on the 26th, I'm recording this, I don't know, sometime in the future, I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, send us emails to ask about it, there's going to be a two week gap after this one due to the bank holiday where we can all roll around in the sunshine, so uh, thanks for that and uh, we'll see you soon.